everybody, it's Vanessa here and welcome to my Dyslexic Life. Would you hire a dyslexic builder? That's my question. We had some uh, renovations done, um, this is a couple of years ago now, and we needed to completely change the outside of, um, of our house. And um, we wanted to create this completely different outside area. And so we had to rebuild the deck. Um, and the builder we had at the time um, was dyslexic. Now, it didn't take me very long to pick this up. But, you know, I don't tend to um, go around saying to people, oh, you're dyslexic, you're dyslexic. But certainly in conversation, it came up that he was dyslexic and that he struggled at school. And it was really interesting because I just turned to him and said, I think that's brilliant. I wouldn't want a builder that wasn't dyslexic. And he kind of really looked at me and he was like, really? I was like, absolutely. I was, you, I kind of said to him, I can talk about my idea and you'll be visualizing it. And in visualizing it, you'll be able to see maybe a potential problem or you'll be able to come up with an even better idea, or you know, you might give me some suggestions. And he was really taken aback. I think he's obviously had lots of experiences where telling his clients that he's dyslexic didn't go well. But for me, I was just like, I wouldn't want to work with a builder that wasn't dyslexic. And often I would be out there using my hands trying to describe something to him and he'd be doing the same and and we'd be out there on on the outside area visualizing what it was going to look like and it was so great to work together because he could understand that I needed to be out in the area that we were changing kind of like drawing things out in the air trying to visualize them and because I know about dyslexia, what I would say is, so what does your picture look like? And just kind of make sure that our pictures matched. And honestly, he did such an amazing job. You know, it was quite interesting because there was there were some parts of the job that were a struggle for him. And um, I know his mum used to do all his accounts and everything. But I just saw a post in the Facebook group earlier and it was about someone really finding their talent and being really good at their job. And that person was a website designer. So it just got me thinking, you know, maybe when you are um, finding someone to do some building work or redo your website or redo your brand or I don't know. What are some other different things you could be doing? Interior design. Maybe what we should be asking them is, are you dyslexic? Because if they are, they're going to be creative. They're going to be passionate. And they're going to be able to communicate with you on a level that other people just can't. They will be able to visualize things with you, help you see what they want to do. So really, I think we should be asking people if they're dyslexic. And if they are, we should be choosing to work with them. What do you think?